Hi everyone, I'm Felicia. I'll be giving you a virtual tour today. Welcome to the Singapore Botanic Garden Heritage Festival in conjunction with Community Garden Festival 2020. Let's go! Today, we will be exploring some of the research facilities where our researchers carry out studies to learn more about the botanical world. Our first stop is the Orchid Breeding and Micropropagation Laboratory. The lab traces its history back to the 1920s when Eric Holton initiated the orchid hybridization and seed germination program. Today, the program has expanded to include the creation of orchid hybrids, specially reserved for naming after visiting heads of state and dignitaries such as Prince William and his wife Catherine. When an orchid hybrid is chosen for VIP naming, the plant is brought to the lab for cloning. It takes two to three years to produce hundreds of identical plants. You can visit these VIPs at our National Orchid Garden. Additionally, the lab plays an active role in conserving endangered plant species. These plants are then reintroduced to our parks, nature reserves or streetscapes. In the lab, orchid seeds are germinated in nutrient-rich agar media in sterile glass flasks. This is how orchid hybrids are created. We are now at Singapore Herbarium. A herbarium is a giant reference library of dried plant specimens. Our herbarium stores over 750,000 plant specimens, including about 10,000 type specimens. When a plant, first known to science, is given a name and description, the new name is permanently assigned to the specimen. Our older specimens date back to 1790, but specimen collecting began in earnest around 1875 when James Merton started our herbarium and library collections. With new technology, we can include more information such as photographs and geotags. Let's have a look on how we make our herbarium specimens. Our last stop is the Library of Botany and Horticulture. It is an important reference library for books and scientific publications relating to plant sciences. Let's have a look. Established in 1875, our library houses more than 30,000 books and journals, over 2,000 botanical illustrations, and many other items of heritage value. These books were authored by staff of the gardens in the late 1800s. To the early 1900s. They remain very important reference materials today. Let's now have a look at the area open to the public. We have a wide selection of reference materials on subjects such as horticultural and botanical science. There are also books that are suitable for children. We also have a self-help herbarium collection that contains the common plants found in Singapore. You can try identifying your plants here. That brings me to the end of my virtual tour. This virtual tour is a preview of our regular tour on every fourth Saturday of the month. Visit our website for more details. Do check out the magazines and botanical journals published by the gardens. I hope you have enjoyed yourself. See you soon.